we go. Hi, guys. Hello, 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 and welcome to my live sale. My name is Misty, and I welcome you. There are 72 people watching and already 35 thumbs ups. Hello. All right. I have 43, no, 42 items today. I've, I'm not doing as much because I've had three sales this week, but I've got some good stuff. So I hope that you guys are going to really enjoy what I've picked out for you today. Oh, hi, Alex. Hi, Amanda. Hot Mess Vintage. Hi, Joanne. Thank you so much for your thumbs up. Oh, hi, hi, Michelle and Kathy. Okay, so I got some really good, I got two fairy lamps today. One of them I'm doing as an offer up and one of them I'm just doing as a straight price. So thank you guys so much for coming and watching the sale today. I've been just really kind of energized and pumped up today. It was, it's just, it's been a great day. Um, my day started off a little bit rocky. I had to go to the doctor um, just to have a, a checkup and stuff done for, you know, my meds and stuff that I'm on. And um, I had 10 vials of blood taken from me today, but I have refilled the blood with caffeine. So I think we're good. A caffeine is running through my bones. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Diane. Yay, yay, yay. I'm glad you're here. Emma is here. She is here remotely. She is keeping track. If you are not, if you have not purchased from me before, you can go ahead right now and pre-register. Um, if you are participating, particip wanting to participate in an offer up, I appreciate if you pre-register. And all you have to do to do that is you can do it right now. You don't have to do it before and you can do it right now. All you need to do is... Send me an email at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Just like my name, only at gmail.com. And I need your YouTube name, your actual name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email address. I only accept PayPal. If you do not have a PayPal account established, it's very, very easy to do. You can do that right now as well. You can link your credit card or your debit card. It is a secure way to make a payment. Um, I've said this all week at all of my sales. Do not send me your, or anybody, or anybody in the world, do not send somebody your credit card numbers via an email. Don't do that. That's not safe. It is a safe way and a secure way and an insured way to pay through PayPal. PayPal is just the processor. So I just want you to protect you and don't, don't do that. Um, yeah, lots of friends here today. Jeffrey's shopping today. Jeffrey and Bar Barb or Bob. <laughs> Are shopping today um I now you see the stove behind me that is not for sale that's mine I mean I'm using it to help display some of the things so just so you know that is a very heavy stove and it's mine because look at that color right there so um I'm I'm going to keep that hi Sarah or Sam or Sarah and Sam okay um so I have 42 items. Some of them are going to be an offer up. And the way that an offer up works is I have an item and it, it is not timed. It's just when the bids start slowing down, we will go ahead and call it. I'll do going once, going twice, and sold. If you are bidding on something and you have reached your max amount that you want to pay, if you would kindly just type in OUT in all capital letters, that would help. That way we know that you're done and, and we can go and we can figure out who is the next person. And then I'll do a going once, going twice, and it'll be sold to you. Um, if I'm hoping that maybe some, I know that Emma doesn't like to do this, but if you are, Rebecca, if you are around, if you would, uh, I would appreciate if you could maybe just type one, I announce who it is sold to. If you could type in sold to whatever for me, that would be great, Rebecca. Hi, Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy got the Maybell planter. I'm back. I am back. I want to know that you see me back before I continue to talk. I started talking about Judy. Judy taking, winning the Maybell planter from Michelle's sale this morning. That's okay, Judy. I know you will love it and take care of it too. Um, okay, just making sure. Okay, all right. Got, gotcha, back. All right. Um, I have a lot of ephemera today. I have a lot of 
good stuff today. I think I've really picked some good stuff today. So, all right. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, babe. Hey, Mr. Chapter 2, otherwise known as everybody's favorite babe. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. mm. And Alex, did you notice I'm wearing, Alex sent me these earrings. You see these earrings? She sent me these either for my birthday or for Mother's Day. I can't remember. But this green glass is made from recycled Mountain Dew bottles. Perfect, right? All right. I have my numbers in the bucket. Am I missing anything? Did I leave anything out? Shipping is not included, so there will be an additional shipping fee. But just make sure that you do send me an email with all your information. So I have my bucket of dreams. Hi, Judy Joe. Oh, yes, there will be another fairy book today. Yes, and I also have Betty in Canada. You know, you all know Betty in Canada? Well, I got her. I do ship globally. Shipping is a little, is, you know, shipping. But I do, ship, I do ship globally. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I also have two antique calendars. One of them is from 1883. 1883. And it still survived. Oh, yes, Auntie Kay. I am doing a giveaway. I am going to give away a brooch today. This beautiful floral brooch will be the giveaway today. So the way that the giveaway works is that if you purchase something from me, the number cards will go back into the bucket and I will draw one and the person who won that item number will win the brooch. Make sure that you are in top chat. No, make sure that you're in live chat, not in top chat. Making look bad with all these. No, listen. A little giveaway, just a little, little bit of something. Even if it is just a little bit of a piece of ephemera. I ought to, I have a lot of um, I have a lot of brooches. So I try to do something that's itty bitty little that won't make any difference with shipping. I do want to say too before I go on is I have this one thing that was not claimed in my sale last week. I never got the email. So it's this little pig ashtray or you could use it as an air plant. It's made in Japan. It's luster. So I'm going to give the person 24 hours to um, contact me that they ordered this from last week's sale. It was $15. So 24 hours. So if you're interested in this, let me know in an email as well. The first person that has emailed me about it, I and I don't hear back from the person, I'll let you know. It's $15. Okay. The brooch, brooch babes unite. I know, do you guys like my shirt? Can you see it? It says, Midwest is best for sourcing. I mean, I guess it depends on who you asked. Um, I get, I got this from Happy Camper Company on Etsy. Hi, fat birds. Midwest is best. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the sale. Midwest is best. I know. I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask. All right, here we go. First one is, oh, little figurines of these little brothers. I love the colors on these. Who are you made by? Ooh, one of them still has a price tag on it. We'll take that off. I'm not sure who makes these. Sometimes I think, oh, Misty, you're going to look that up and see if you can find who makes these. And I didn't. They are these little painter brothers. Look, they're little painters. Hi, Sean. So here is brother number one. He's got his paintbrush and his little apron on. And he has on kind of like a lime green outfit. And he's in excellent condition. He doesn't have any, his head still. His head has not been reattached. He's standing up on his little box. And then here's his brother. His brother also has a paintbrush in his hand. And I don't know what this is supposed to be, but he's got blue. He's got a blue outfit on. Aren't they cute? I know that they're made in Japan. I'm not sure who makes them, but I, I have dubbed them the paint the painter brothers. Aren't they cute? They you get both of them. You get the set of them. Oh, they both have. I wonder if these are like blueprints. 
but they're red. They're red prints in their hands. For $16, and they are number eight. The Painter Bros are $16. There are, there are no flaws on them. He's got a little bit of spaghetti down here. $16, number eight. Ooh, they both have spaghetti trim down here. I'm just now noticing that. All right, I see Deb Lepley. Deb Lepley. All right, so Deb, what I'm going to do, put these little guys aside, I'll put the number back in the bucket, and you are now officially entered into the drawing for the brooch. Congratulations. Hi, Mary. Okay, we are at our first offer up of the day. Emma, are you ready? So, Emma, I'm going to go ahead and tell you here in a second to hit start, and as I'm describing the item, we can go ahead and people can go ahead and put their offers in. They are these cute little uh, egg cups. I'm going to start them at $15. Emma, you can go ahead and type in start. And Emma is my daughter. She is at the University of Southern Indiana right now. All right, start. They're $15, and you get the fella and his dashing lovely wife. They are wooden. They have little hats. So you put your egg in there, and then you put your little hat on your egg to keep your egg warm. So we've got the girl and the boy with their little hats. He Is it he dasher with his mustache? He's got his little smoking jacket on. And then she just looks annoyed. Look at her. She's annoyed. I see Shirley at $18. Not only that is they come in their original boxes as well. It holds your breakfast egg and hand-knit fed stocking cap. Keeps it warm. They are egg cake. They are handmade in Italy. Italy. So you get the original boxes. And now the, the lady's hat is, it's got a little bit like where it's coming undone a little bit. But I like how she's just got like these little white dots on hers. So let's see, where are we at? I see Shirley is out. I think we have uh, My Life is Antique White at 25. You get the egg cups, the wooden egg cups set, and their hats, and their boxes. Hi, Tiger. All right, I see My Life is Antique White at 25. And I think that's what I'm seeing so far. So $25 going once, $25 going twice. Sold, sold to My Life is Antique White for $25. You got that, Emma? Hi, Amy. Hi, Kim. Kim, I, I watched your sale last night. You did good. I always think that I'm going to get me some lotion. I'm right before I put some lotion on, right before I have my sale, and I always forget. Hi, Miss Pamela. Okay. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Next. All right. I have a pink fairy lamb, and we're not doing it as an offer up. And. You know, I, this does not glow, and I, the only fairy lights I had left to show were the Christmas ones, but, you know, we're going to make it work, but here we go. Hi, Lori. This pink fairy lamp, so you can put your little candle in there, and it's almost like a little shade. It does, let me turn the, let me take the lights out. It does have these little daisies around here. Oh, <gasps> shh. Hi, Manal. Hi, Katie. All right. Hello, Diane. So here we have this beautiful pink. Looks like a little lamp, doesn't it? A little pink fairy lamp. And I am asking $25 for this. $25 for the pink fairy lamp. You put your candle or your light in there. It does not uh, have any chips, cracks, or flaws on it anywhere. It is $25, and it is number 
$25, number 33 for the pink fairy lamp. I see Gigi's Vintage Treasures. Gigi's Vintage Treasures. Congratulations. And if I say somebody's name and I'm wrong, let me know. If it's your name, we'll double check because we always it all that sometimes always happens. You usually will see your name first. And I don't know why that is, but that seems to be the way that it is. All right, we've got another offer up. I have this lot of greeting cards. So this is the first ephemera lot of the day. I have these greeting cards. Now, the first two are these, the dolls of, what does it say? The dolls of many lands. So you will get the doll of America, which is, no, right here. She kind of looks like the doll of France to me, but she is the doll of America. It's on a postcard. It's not been signed. So here's the doll of America. Okay, I understand Alex. Alex is here, but she's not. You know what I mean? She's doing invoices. And then here we have the doll of England. Kind of looks like sugar britches. Look, look at sugar britches, all fancy. She's the doll of America. So you get these two, and these are beautiful. These are figural, a sunshine card made in the USA. This one is, they're shaped like perfume bottles. So there's this one with the purple flowers. None of them have been signed. So none of these have been signed. So this one is congratulations. They're all figural. Get well message, birthday greetings. They do not have their envelopes. Special friend, wedding. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm starting these at $10. Starting them at $10. I see I forgot. We're starting this whole lot. You'll get all of these for $10. And I'll finish going through them. Wedding. My favorite one I'm going to show at the end. Just saying. Sympathy. Birthday wishes. And best wishes. So we're at $12, $15. This one is my favorite one. Now this one card. This one card alone. Um... Is, sells for about $15 on eBay just for this one card that I'm getting ready to show you. And it is the Hallmark Little Boy Blue card. He's got his little feather. He's got his little jewel here. Now they made figurines to match these as well. So you open them up and it has Little Boy Blue, the little poem in here. And it says, Dear Little Chip, so this one does have writing in it, and it's love, granny, and I don't know, father? <laughs> I don't know, I can't read that. So where are we at? Oh, and he's he's got his backside too. So this one's my favorite one. Little Boy Blue, it is a Hallmark card. All right, so where, so you get all of these. Where are we at? I think I see $27 for Sandra K. $27 for Sandra K is the price to beat for the lot of greeting cards. All right, I see 30, 30 for LaDonna Durvin. For all of, these are sunshine. These are the dolls of, uh, the dolls of many lands. And then little boy boot. Little Boy Blue. Picasso Cat is out. So we're between LaDonna and... Uh, where were you at? Donna and Sandra. Okay, so Donna at $30 going once. Donna at $30 going twice. And sold to LaDonna Derwin for $30. I love that Little Boy Blue one. Oh. I wish I had more of them because they had like all of the fairy tale stories. And that one was a little boy blue. Hi, Village Relics. Okay, now LaDonna goes in the giveaway. 
I'm going to be doing lots of ephemera for the next couple weeks. I have a lot. All right, next I have these rooster shakers. They're kind of like a, a grayish blue color with these blue flowers on them. I thought that they were really pretty. This one does not have its stopper. This one's got kind of half of a stopper in here. Um, I think that these are probably from the 80s or 90s. Don't know where they're made. But I kind of like, I just like the color combination on them. It's kind of a grayish blue with the blue flowers. They are $10 and they are number 32. $10, number 32 for the... I guess a hen and a rooster. Look at me. A hen and a rooster. All right, Cindy J. I see Cindy J for the chicken shakers. I will mention too that I had a sale on Monday. I had a sale on Tuesday. I'm having a sale today. And I have to go pick up an auction lot about an hour away tomorrow. So I will be working on shipping all weekend long. I'll be working all weekend. So be expecting an invoice from me throughout the weekend. I'm going to come back tomorrow afternoon and work on some invoices and I'm going to work well, but probably Saturday and Sunday is when you'll be getting your invoices from me. Saturday and Sunday. Because um, I'm also, Mark and I are going to go do some sourcing in the probably the Louisville area tomorrow, I think. We haven't decided yet. So he has tomorrow off, so we're going to do some sourcing. So be expecting the invoices will be getting done this weekend at the latest. Okay. Just, just so you know. Because I sometimes will get, you haven't sent me an invoice yet. Believe me, I lose sleep over getting these invoices sent out. So I will be getting them sent out. It's just, it's just going to be a little bit delayed this week. All right. I have a really cool piece of linen and we'll see about it. I, I, it's a set price. I love this. I had other ones similar to it and I've sold them and I can't remember quite. Oh, and if you bought something from me at any of my sales, all of the shipping will be combined. I don't know. I think this is just a table topper. Look at it. Look at the deer in red. So, you know, this could definitely be Christmas. It could definitely be winter, Valentine's Day, but I loved it. I did have some table runners, but this is needle embroidery. Embroidery, right? Anyway, but it has this red trim red and white trim all the way around it it does have a little bit of it and i call these fold stains because it's like where it's been you can probably see it on the back side a little bit better where it's been folded for years and years and years i know isn't this great you could hang this on your wall i loved it so this is going to be twenty dollars and it is number 35. $20, number 35. I think that you could use it for Valentine's. I loved it. I wish I still had those runners, but I sold them a long time ago. All right, I see Lori Grudeau. Yeah, it's a real good one. Oh, I love it. Ugh. Okay, Lori Grudeau. All right, let me let me mix up my numbers here. All right, this is the cutest thing that you'll ever see. Like, well, well, it's cute. It's one of the cutest things that I've ever seen. I don't know if it is a. I kind of thought it might be a pencil sharpener, but I don't think that it is because I don't know where you would empty it. But look at this little phone. Hello. The dial doesn't move. I think this is just a pencil holder. I don't think that, at first I thought it was a pencil sharpener, but I mean, I don't know. I should have unscrewed it to see, but there's screws right there. But isn't this cute? I love little, little things. Look at how cute that is. And it has, what is that? A fairy. Isn't this neat? I love this. It's plastic. 
It is $18 and it's number 22. Um, Emma, be quiet. <laughs> I had 10 vials of blood taken out of my body. So I had to replace it with something and I replaced it with caffeine. Lori Wortley, Lori, I hope you're doing good. Lori Wortley, it's so cute. You say, hello, Randy. You're not here, I don't think. Goodbye, Randy. <laughs> I loved it. Um, I have some pain like throughout my body and I, I'm 45 years old. So I know that I'm like looking down the lane of like things all going to hell, you know, like my um, arthritis and that kind of stuff. So 10 vials of blood, they're checking everything basically. Um, I just, not even a year ago, I had my thyroid checked. I had, I was checked for lupus. Um, those were all negative. So now they're just kind of trying to rule other thing, everything else out before they say fibromyalgia arthritis, you know, so we'll see. Um, I did, however, though, I'm back on my ADHD medicine, so we're all happy about that, right? Mm-hmm. So that's great. And then my blood pressure is a little high, so we're watching that. But just, it's just, just, just to see how everything's going. That's all. Okay, who loves cottage cheese? Emma does. Emma loves cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese too. And I love these. Yeah. It, I, I, my, my joints and my legs and arms are never not hurting. Never not hurting. My hands, my arms, I can't like, like this, holding this in my hand, it, it hurts right now. So it's just a weird thing. But we're, we're going to get it. My check engine light is on, but we're going to get it figured out. All right, creamed cottage cheese. Not only is it cottage cheese, but it's creamed cottage cheese. I love the graphics on this. I have two of these, so I'm going to uh, give a number, and then two people will be able to purchase these. They are wax. You guys remember the little wax things? They're made by Lily. Uh, so I love the graph. I just, if you have a Hoosier cabinet, I think that these would be great. You could put flowers in them. I think, it, I think that they'd be a lot of fun. So we, these are $15 each. So, okay. I will. Okay, Rebecca. $15 each. So the first two people to type in the number 14 will each get a cottage cheese. Wouldn't these be cute with flowers in them? I think. So the first two people to type in 14 will get the vintage cottage cheese. I see Sandra K and Val M. Sandra K and Val M. I'm repeating so Emma has time to write it down. Just in case she's not paying attention. But I know that she is because she's a good girl. Yeah, Jared, I haven't done the shoe yet. What on earth, Gina Marie? I, there's 363 people watching and only 163 thumbs ups. You know what? If we get to 250 thumbs up, I will stop what I'm doing and we will do the Fenton Fairy Lamp. So, we get to 250, we'll do the Fenton, Fenton Fairy Lamp. And it's a good one. It's a good one. All right, the next one is this deer planter. He is made by American Bisque. I just stick my little helper in there. Look at him. He's just hanging out. What's he doing on this log? I don't know. He's just sitting there. Sitting up there, looking up to the sky, just pondering life. I love his body. His, he's just, look at him. <laughs> he's just sitting there. What, what's he doing? Nothing. Just sitting there. I love him. I think that he's just kooky and weird. I know. He's just, just sitting on a log is all he is doing. But I did put my little helper greenery in there. You can put a flower in there. You can put Q-tips or cotton balls or whatever. But yeah, he's just sitting there. He's American Bisque. He's in excellent condition. No flaws at all. He is $18. 
There's the back of him again. Very nice. $18 and he's number seven. $18, number seven. Yeah, just sitting there. No big deal. No big whoop. Just sitting on log. All right, I see Deb Lepley. You're going to go to Deb's house. Deb's going to take good care of you, Mr. Bear. I'll just leave him up there. All right, where are we at? 220. I said 250, y'all. 250, and we'll do the... Uh, yeah, American Bisque is the name of the pottery. You can tell by sometimes because, you know, pottery makers tend to be mysterious and they like to just keep us guessing. But the bottom of that typically is American Bisque where it has these like diamond, well, they're like divisions, but they're different than the Royal Copley's are just lines. And these are like matte, not glazed things you know what i mean yeah oh it is a huge improvement but we're wanting 250 250 and we'll stop what we're doing and we'll do the fenton fairy lamp i mean i'm going to eventually do it but you know i'll stop what i'm doing and we'll do it right then and there all right some more ephemera i this is going to be an offer up and I'm going to start it at $15. So I'm just going to say that off the bat. They are a lot of four of the, these are from 1933. So all four of these Better Homes and Gardens magazines are from 1933. So we have February. Hi, Bobby. We have February. We're starting these at $15. We have February. We have March. We have June, and oh, actually, we've got we have five. We have five. We have September. Sean, I am certain you do not mean fifty dollars. Do you mean you don't mean fifty dollars? <laughs> Let me know for sure, but I don't think you mean fifty dollars. Then we have oh, this this one. This one's January 1933. Look at the baby. These are all in very good condition and they have the fever, colds, the less risk of mastoid trouble. Gargle with Listerine twice a day. Um, that room that grew, wait. Then I met a lady who owned a glass garden. Okay. Period furniture. Eleanor goes to the dentist. I'm sorry, Eleanor. But so we have January 1933. No. Okay, so Sean is at 30. Okay. Sean is at 30. September 1933. Oh, there's a color. Crisco. And June 1933. Frigid air. These are just fun to look through. Just read about a time gone by. March 1933. Look at her little hat and her hair. Oh, I love her. Look at the little Scotty. All right. So I'm seeing uh, Sean is at $30. And look at this little helper girl. She's washing the windows for her mom. All right. So I'm seeing Sean at $30. Going once for the lot of five Better Homes and Gardens. Okay, I'm seeing Sheila at 35. She was the first at 35. You get five of them. Five Better Homes and Gardens from 1933. Sean is at 40. Hi, Sandy. Rebecca jumped in there at 49. I have, listen, I found, Sean's at 50. Well, Sean, there you go. You're at 50. I found some antique fashion magazines from like 1870 something that I, I'm going to research a little bit. Okay. Ignore my bid. Okay. Wait. All right. So, Sean, you are, we still have you, Sean, at 40. Sean, you're at 40 and not 50. Yeah. 
So we have Sean at $40 for five of the Better Homes and Gardens from 1933. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Sean. Key Totally Vintage, which is a new YouTube channel. Go check him out. He just dropped his second video today. He's going to have his third video up tomorrow. He's so sweet and a lot of fun. So go subscribe to Sean's. And he, he's going to talk about going on the keto diet, diet and, and tips and stuff for the keto diet, diet. So make sure that you follow him on YouTube and Instagram. Sean won these for $40. Yeah. Key Totally Vintage. Isn't that a clever name? I think it's clever for, for combining the two things that he wants to discuss on his channel. Let's take a drink. Chroma Macchiato. All right. Next. Oh, you know what? We got to do the fairy life, right? Fenton Fairy Lamp. Oh, this is good. Let me turn on the lights. This Fenton Fairy Lamp is in three pieces. And it has the original sticker. Ooh. And it has, Amanda Hot Mess Vintage said it has a tutu. It does have a tutu on. <laughs> key totally. Like keto to Lee. Key totally. All right. So we're going to do this as an offer up. Ooh. So. I have the battery operated lights in here. I will take them out. So you can see it has the hobnail. Now this is a green. It does not glow. It does not glow. So it has the top part here and then it has the insert. Now you would put the candle in the insert. So, and it is marked. It does have a little bit of wax in there. It is marked. Oh, let's see if you can see. It's Mark Fenton. Can you see that right there? It's Mark Fenton in here. So I'm going to start this at $20. Oh, Nicole is already at $50. <laughs> so we're already at $50. So I guess we're going to start it at $50. So we're starting it at $50. The base is also hobnail. It does have the Fenton sticker down there at the bottom. We are already at $50. It is also marked Fenton on the bottom of the base as well. You know what? If I was out and about and I would just see this by itself, I'm like, oh, Fenton made a nice little ashtray. No, it's it's a fairy lamp insert. Isn't it fancy? The blue one I sold last week. I do have another blue one that will be in a future sale. I think I see Nicole is at $100. Yet these are, the, I have never seen this one in the wild. I mean, I've seen them, but I've never seen it with my own two eyes or felt it. And this is, it's, it's, this is like the Mac Daddy between this and the Viking, which I did find some Viking fairy lamps. Those will be, those will be coming up very soon too. Okay, LEA, LEA is at $101. It does not, gosh, if this glue, this glue, I will say too, I found this at a flea market, at a flea market. Now I did pay for it. You know, I did pay for this. You, you can find stuff like this out there and at a flea market that doesn't have anything displayed. And we had, I dug, I dug in boxes for this, for all the parts. I saw a part of it and I'm like, it has to be. So, all right, Nicole is at $120. I know it has a little tutu. Yeah, we're going to do $5 increments now. So I'm looking for 125. Okay, LEA is, look, me doing math. 125. See, I can count up in fives. So if we're at a nice even number. Okay, so I'm looking for $130. Okay, Nicole's up to 135. Nicole is up to $135. It's beautiful. It's just so fancy. It's so fancy. All right. Nicole is at, okay. LaDonna Derwin's jumping in there at 140. This is a rare one. It isn't one that you normally see. 
All right, Nicole. Nikki is at 150. LaDonna's. Okay, Nikki's at 175. LaDonna Derwin is at 200. CLC, I sent you an email um, from some, you, I didn't, I, I, I you, did you get your invoice from me from last week? Rebe oh, I was like, Rebecca, you're not at 200. Okay. Nicole is out. Um, where are we at? LaDonna Derwin is at $200. $200 at LaDonna Derwin. Am I right, LaDonna? Is that what number I have? Okay. I don't know, Marianne. I'm a little nervous. I, I don't know. I, when I tend to be nervous, I, I I don't quite know what to say. I, I render myself un, unspeakable. Okay, LaDonna. All right. I see LaDonna at $200 going once. Going twice. Sold. To LaDonna Durvin for $200. Oh, LaDonna, this will be wrapped up very, very specially. Thank you so much. Oh, good. I'm glad, Nancy. Yes, do not drop it. That is for sure. <sighs> I'll have you know. I know. Thank you, LaDonna. That was exciting. I'll have you know, though, too, I have found last weekend, I found three more fairy lamps. One of them. Now, listen, my fairy lamps just go in my live sales because I've promised that I would do a fairy lamp in every live sale. So I have to, like, keep them for every live sale or I'll eventually not have one, you know. Um, I did find a satin glass Fenton one that glows. Okay. All right. I'll... CLC, send me your email again. Just to make sure I have the correct one. If you would do that, please. Okay. Next, I have two Valentine lots. These are my last two Valentine lots that I have available. They are going to be $20 each. Oh, yay. All right. I was too. I was having heart palpitation. I knew that that was a good one. I mean, I did pay up for it, but man, I've never seen, I've never seen that one before. All right. So each of these lots have 10 vintage Valentines. I'm going to show each lot and you'll get one of the two. So I have two of them. So you'll get one of the two, but they are similar to this one. Um, this one is not signed. Ooh. So there's one, two. Oh, I bent down. Can you tell? Three. Four. This one is from Chris. Four. I love this one. Five. Six. And then some cards. Seven. From Loretta. Oh, man. This one's flopped. Eight. This is one that you would fold over. It's not been folded over, though. Nine. And ten. This one's got the little... Does, does this do something? No, it just opens up like that. Okay, so there's that one. And then the other lot, there are 10 in each lot. They're $20. I'll give the number in just a second. Then we have, look, look, Jamie. There's Penny. Meow. So there's one, two. Most of them have not been signed. Three. This was from Stephen Brooks. Four, five. Six, none of these have been signed. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
All right, so two lots of 10. They are $20. The first two people to type in the number two will win the lots of Valentine's. $20 each lot, number two. All right, I see Picasso Cat and Reclaim Treasures by Mary. Thank you, ladies. All right. And if I draw a number that had more than one person, I'll, I'll, there'll be two brooches that will be given away. Just FYI. Bye. Okay, next I have a lot. Who makes basset hounds? Does anybody have a basset hound? This is an adopted family. So we've got the big one. And he doesn't have any flaws. And his little tag says he is a basset. Wouldn't that be nice if all of the species, not the species, but all the breeds had little tags? Um, now, he had, he had puppies. His puppies have left. But I found a little bone china basset hound. So that's his adopted parent. And he's so cute. Isn't he cute? So you'll get the set of these for $15, and they're number three. For the Basset Hound family of two, party of two, $15, number three. Boop. And the mama. All right, I see Mary Cox. I love Basset Hounds. They're just like... When they walk, you can almost like hear them walk. You can almost hear the do 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 do. All right, more ephemera. I have a cookbook lot. This cookbook lot is a combination of an international cookbook lot. I liked it. Um, I'll show them to you. I'm going to start this at fifteen dollars. Here is what the lot looks like out of the bag, but I'll start showing them to you individually, but I'm starting them at $15. And I have a couple of these little, all these little recipe inserts. This one's from Fritos. You can see the graphics on that. Bree, Bree's at one of my sales, Alex. Oh, look, I bent over and I didn't make too bad of a sound. So there's the Fritos. The story in a nutshell from our home depart home economics department. Oh, look at the graphics on the inside of this. And then we have the economy cookbook. This is a hardbound book. And it is breads and quick breads, sandwich spreads. It's just a helpful book from 1948 compiled by the staff of the Journal of Living. So that's included. And then this is a recipe that was torn out of something, but I looks I kept it in here because I like the way that the paper sounds. Weird. But for Dutch apple pie, it's on the, from the back of some um, ginger, no, graham crackers, a graham cracker box. The ABCs of Herb Cookery. Okay, and we have, oh, this isn't the international one. I'm sorry, this isn't the international one. But we have Mary Hale Martin's My Best Recipes. Ooh, those chocolate brownies look good. Oh, oh, what is that? Molded, molded salad. That doesn't sound very good. Goldenrod asparagus. So there's that one. And then I have this. These are all just torn out of a magazine or of, of a of a recipe book, but I just I just thought that they were neat. They're all vintage, practical suggestions for busy homemakers. So you can learn all these tips on being a practical homemaker from I think the 1940s. 
just by looking at some of the graphics on here. Emma, where are we at? Okay, thank you, Rebecca. $20, we're still at $20. And then we have the, I'm gonna say this very carefully. We have the Ball Blue Book. The Ball Blue Book. Wording, we have to be careful with our wording. The Ball, the Ball Blue Book in that order. So we have the Ball Blue Book from Ball Jars. And then we have this, and I think that this is really a really neat piece of ephemera. Um, it's the postmark is from Los Angeles, California, IA. And it I love the stamp on here. The stamp says United States of America, Security, Education, Conservation, and Health for Defense. And it's a three cent postage stamp. So I like that. And I like that this envelope is just kind of this went to Louisville, Kentucky. This is from, this envelope contains your new Care Home Canning Book. And inside is uh, Home Canning and 12 short, short Lessons. Look at her. Look at how, she is a prepper. She is prepared. She's prepared. And on the inside of this pamphlet, it has, you know, all the things that you need to know for canning. And Uncle Sam would like for you to do this. Important conservation need can peace. Uncle Sam says you must can. So I don't, this is very much wartime, World War II era. Oh, look at her. Look, it's little sugar britches. Sugar britches. She's getting in that jar of something. Little sugar britches. So you get that. And then inside there's just more you know, savings on silverware. Okay, we're at still at $25. All these typed recipes and all from this cure. For, so definitely from the 1940s. So I'm at $25 for all of this recipe book ephemera. $25, I think we're at 25. No, patties, we're at 26. $26. For all of this canning ephemera, my best recipes. And I think that this recipe book, oh, look, there's Mary Hale Martin herself. Bobby's at $28. Okay, gosh darn it. How, why does it have to be Roman numerals? Well, it it's older, but it is MX or MCMXXXIV. Okay, Deanna is at 30. The ABCs of herbs. That just because you need to make that pie. The economy cookbook from 19... These are all from the 1940s. They're all from the 1940s. 1934. Okay, so they're from the 1930s and the 1940s. All right, we're at $30. Patty's Vintage Studio. Pat, Patty's Vintage Studio at $34. No, $31. Going once going twice sold to patty's vintage studio for 31 dollars thank you patty oh patty i just threw your stuff let me pick this up put it back in the bag All right. Yay! Three times a patty. All right. Oh, okay. I posted these on Instagram. I know I'm going to regret selling these. I tried giving them to Emma. She doesn't really drink hot coffee, and I don't really drink hot coffee either. These mugs are amazing. They feel so good in your hands. They're Francoma. And I know that I like, I like Francoma. Some people don't. I, I love the way that this pottery feels. And this is a nice big mug. They're Francoma. What was this? Was the 
Prairie Green. Prairie Green is what this is called. Look at that member. Hi, Mom. My mama's here. Mom, look, they're Francoma mugs. They are Prairie Green. They are big and chunky and Francoma and beautiful colors. And you can just rub them on your face when you drink your coffee because they feel so good. I love Francoma. I do. I love it. So you will get both of these mugs, and they do stack very nicely. You can put them in your cabinet or on a coffee bar. Love this. Oh, they would be good for soup mugs. But I love this. They are $25 for the set of them, and they are number 30. $25, number 30. Ooh, they would look cute with a flower in them, too. A succulent in them. And some pink flowers. I love them. I love the way that they feel. Prairie green is what they're called. All right, I see Auntie Sash. Auntie Sash. Oh, they would be good for hot chocolate. I just love the way that they feel. They feel so good. It's weird, I know, but it's a fact. It is a fact. I like I like Francoma. I do. I I my prediction. I think we should bring Francoma back into popularity. I mean, I also don't think it ever went away, but the I like the I don't like the brown as much as I like the green. The green's really good. Hi, Nady Potato. Okay. All right. I've had a couple people message me about these. Oh. Gosh, Misty, be prepared and take price tags off. Good grief. This is the sock and the shoe. Isn't this the weirdest thing ever? I, I found this, and I still can't figure out which way it goes in. I found this when I went shopping with... Oh wait, my phone says one thing. Okay. Make sure that I do have it right. I have Auntie Sash that is showing up on mine. She's kind of up there a little bit. She typed in, she was fast today. Yeah, Auntie Sash. So I love that the shoe is like a teal and it is a, the, well, I don't know. They both have two holes. So take your pick, salt or pepper. And I think that at one time it had a souvenir sticker on it. And then the little sock, a little crumpled up sock with a little blue and white or blue stripe. Good grief. Good grief. Good gracious. There. Goes in there like that. I love this. So this is very cute. I've never seen one before. It is $15 and it's number 21. $15 number 21 for the sock and shoe shakers the ventique scavenger hello the ventique scavenger i think it's so fun oh i love it and i found it before jeffrey did because he jeffrey would have bought that he definitely would have he thought he would have thought it was neat too hi jeffrey ross All right, next I have a very, now a lot of you probably remember these. This is a water jug with this ruffled glass. Isn't this fun? I like the way that this feels too. It's just so weird. It does have the original lid. It could be a juice jug. I always call these water jugs. It's probably a juice jug, but it is all glass. No markings on it, but you could put lights in here. You could put clothespins in here. You could put um, uh, Christmas, old Christmas lights in it. I just like these. Also look good in a vintage kitchen display or who's your cabinet. I know. I love it. And the thing that's nice about these is like when you put it in your refrigerator, it's just compact. But this would be like, like my son would, this would fit in one of his cups that he drinks out of, you know? So like people didn't like drink and like, a 32 ounce thing of juice, you know, in one sitting back in the day. But I like this. This is $15 and it's number 
and it's number 13. $15, number 13. For the water jug, juice jug. All right, I see Camper Girl Vintage. Ooh, Camper Girl? Do you have a vintage camper? Because that makes you extra cool if you do in my book. I mean, I think you're probably cool anyway, but if you have a vintage camper, like Shirley Pearl has a vintage camper, and I think Shirley Pearl's Shirley Pearl's pretty cool cuz she's got a he's got she's got a vintage camper. Hi Aaron. All right, next I have an offer up, Emma, for these. Now, I don't know if Katie's here. I am not a, a, a glass person, but Katie, do you know who makes these? <laughs> Little Berry Bowls. They're pink depression glass. No markings on them. Maybe Katie will know. They do not glow. They do not glow. You will get a set of four of them. And they're all in excellent condition. Really nice stacked up in a display. You could put some little like farmhouse beads and stuff in here. They'd be cute for Valentine's Day. All right, so I'm going to start this at $10. I want a vintage camper. I do. I do. All right, we're starting these at $10. Uh, they look like Anchor Hawking. Okay. They have the rib optic design. Yep, they do. All right, we're starting these at, oh, Pickle Tink. Starting them at $10, you will get all four of them. They're in excellent condition. I like that I, to display them like kind of wonky like that and put like some farmhouse beads. You could put some conversation hearts in them. All right, I'm seeing Bobby Er now Pickle Tink at 21. Sarah or Sam, you would probably kill Alan if you lived in a tiny home. I'm just saying. I mean, if Mark and I were, if it was just Mark and I, we could do a tiny home. But we, I would have to have, like, I would still have to have a shop for all my things. You know, like I could sleep in a tiny home and be perfectly happy. Oh, <laughs> Alan's not invited. <laughs> Pickle Tink is at $26. You do get all four. No chips or cracks. He can live in a trap house and I'll be in my tiny home. I would agree. Sometimes we need our own space. But, okay, Pickle Tink is at 29. Little pink depression glass. Or depression glass-esque. Bobby is at 30. Yeah, but Michelle, just wait till all those kids are moved out. That'd be fun. Okay, Pickle Tink is out. So Bobby is at $30. So Bobby's at $30 going once, going twice, sold to Bobby for $30, I think. I already forgot. $30. Sold to Bobby for $30. Thanks, Bobby. Are you counting down, Michelle? Okay, now I don't know. I'm going to ask you guys about these and tell me what you think. I have these, what I was going to do with these. Emma, these are, well, I'm not going to tell you the number yet, but I have 10 of these, okay? 10 of these. They were new old stock. They are in these heart boxes. And they have these pearl necklaces. They're not real pearl necklaces. It was a, a child's pearl necklace in this plastic um, heart box, trinket box. And you can tell the age of these. Look at the, ooh, see the clasp? Oh, that's not the, that's not the good side. There's the clasp. Now, the deal with these is that the string on the now they're not like plastic pearls they're like they feel like a pearl but they're not real pearls i have 10 of these now the thing of it is is every single one that i have opened up and i've looked at the necklaces 
the string is just like rotted away. So the necklaces are no good. But you can still display them with the necklace. And so do are is anybody interested in these? They I have 10 of them. See, that's how they came. This one's never been opened. So let me know. If you are interested in these, I'm going to do them for $6 each. Okay. Okay. I have 10 of them. So Emma, they are going to be $6 each. And um, yeah, I, I kind of would like them to, to display, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I mean, I had them marked at $10 each when I thought that the necklaces were still good. So I'm going to do them at $6 each. I have 10 of them. So this might take Emma a few minutes to write down. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a little drinky break while she's writing them down. But they, so the first 10 people, if there is 10 people, to type in the number 12 will get one. The first 10 people to type in the number 12 will get a pearl necklace in the heart. Okay, so I see Pamela Blanchard, Cindy B, Teresa Ann, Auntie Sash, Basement Treasures and Antiques, LaDonna Derwin, Michelle. Okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I see nine. Um, but I also see Bobby. I see you typed in six. Bobby, does that mean that you want one? I... Let me count those again. Yeah, we're going to give Emma a second to write these down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are 15. I only see, I see 10 names. So I'll let Emma, Emma will, really? Well, I'll let Emma, I'll let Emma figure that out and then she can, uh, she, <laughs> okay. So Emma, Emma, if you will just type in the names, we'll, I'll just do a little song and dance until then. Emma, now Emma, remember you're getting paid by the hour. So if this takes a little longer, you just get paid more money. Let's take a drink, shall we? Mm-hmm. Sing to us. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not, you know, that's Sarah's gig. That's Sarah's gig. Doug, Emma's getting paid. So, so no poor Emma. <laughs> Emma's getting paid to do this. Okay, Picasso Cat is number 10. So Emma, I'm going to let Emma, I'm, we'll take Emma a few minutes. Let me... I'm glad that you guys wanted those because I didn't quite know what to do with them. And I I probably would have kept them all and put them in a display if nobody wanted them. But I, sometimes you just don't know. Okay, let me just see what all you got. No, Judy, I haven't done the book yet. Yours is going in your tear tray. See, I, yeah, I mean, there are things that you they, that can still be done with them, but I just didn't know because of the, the damage. Because of the damage. All right. What is my drink? It is an iced caramel macchiato. I have an iced caramel macchiato in this hand, and I have a Mountain Dew in this hand. Mm-hmm. Who would have thought, I never in a million years did I think that I would like coffee and milk. But there's something magical in it. Coffee, uh, caramel macchiato. Now, the caramel macchiatos at McDonald's are very good. Emma, are you doing okay there? 
Can I continue? And then we can just, uh, what, what do we need to do, Emma? Okay, she's got it. Emma has, what, what do you have, Emma? Pamela, Cindy, Teresa, Auntie Sash, Basement Treasures and Antiques, LaDonna Derwin, Newton's Cupboard. Oh, thank you, Diane. Oh, Judy Joe. I need to be drinking more water. I do. All right, Emma, are you ready? Yes. Sarah or Sam is drinking my water, although I need to be drinking some more water. Okay, can we continue? Emily, I'm going to pick the next thing, and if it's an offer up, I'll start showing the things. It's not an offer up, but I'll start showing it. It is a parakeet. You guys think this is a parakeet? I think it's a parakeet. Oh, your internet cut out. Okay. All right. So I'm seeing this parakeet sitting on this ledge. I love the colors in this. I don't know who make it, who made it. It's very, very pretty. Look at the paint on that. Isn't that pretty? I like its little feet just clawing there at the little thing. It's not marked. It does have this beautiful crazing all over it. Isn't that pretty? I think that it's a parakeet. I love the vibrant colors on this. This parrot is $15 and it's number 10. He's so bashful. He's so bashful. $15, number 10. All right, I see CLC. Fifteen dollars, number ten. Oh, that it's over there. I pulled that one earlier. All right, I like this girl because she is chubby, and I like a chubby girl. Yeah, chubby girls make the world go around. Fat bottom girls. Make the loving world go round. So, and I don't know if she is, I think that she's supposed to hold spoons. I just kind of stuck this wooden spoon. And you will get the wooden spoon. that You can either spank your child. You know. I liked her. Isn't she happy? Look at her rosy cheeks. She's just, hold, she's so happy to hold your spoons for her. Now, she has a little paint drippage on the back and on the front. I'll see if I can get that off. But look at her face. She is um, California. She's been in California. And she is Gayette. Gayette, California. Hi, Randy girl. Yeah, you could hit your husband with this too. That would be fine. You, Sarah, or Kai, what do I keep calling you Sarah? Sam, do you need this for Alan? But I liked her. Isn't she fun and chubby and just, oh, I loved her. So she's made in the good old USA, California. She is, I, I just said she's a kitchen maid spoon holder. She's so happy. She's $16 and she's number nine. 16, you're a wooden spoon survivor. My mom used to spank us with the race car tracks. All right, I see Marianne Zaccarelli. I think. Let me make sure. Yes. Marianne Zaccarelli. She has a fun name to say. <laughs> okay. Yes, I agree. You have to learn to give your child the look so they know that you mean business and you st you do not have to spank them. They just, they, that threat might be there, but you don't have to do it. You just be like, and they're like, okay, I'm going to respect you, parent. All right, next I have, now I bought this for myself. I actually bought two of them a long time ago. And um, I, 
am deciding that I'm selling this collection of mine. I have collected these from air plants, but I'm moving away and putting them. I'm, I'm trying to do more like, I don't know what I'm doing with them yet, but I'm kind of moving away from these because I have to draw a line somewhere. But this little guy is a little hound dog in a tuxedo. He's got his little walking stick and a flower, I think. But I'll show you what I mean. I mean, this is a succulent, but I had my air plants. But see, he's a little, he's a little pot. And he can hold your air plant. Isn't this fun? I loved him. He's made in Japan. He is in excellent condition. I like these side-eyed crazy things. Isn't that fun? He is fancy pants dog. He's $14 and he's number five. He was sitting on my window ledge with an air plant in him just last week. $14, number five. I see Lucy Van Pelt. In our, Charlie Brown? That Lucy Van Pelt? Wasn't that Lucy's name? Lucy Van Pelt. Lucy Van Pelt was bossy, and I appreciated that about her. <laughs> yeah! Are you a Charlie Brown fan, or is that your actual name? I'm curious. Okay, guys. I've got some really good sheet music. I told you every week I'm going to have, well, at least for a while, I have sheet music, antique sheet piano sheet music. And I have a lot here. You'll get four, four pieces of piano sheet music in this lot. I'm gonna save the best one for last. I'll show you the one that not as exciting first. So I am gonna start these at $15. You will get all of these in this lot. So, just so you know. This one is from 1910. 1910. Don't wake me up. I am dreaming. Now, a lot of people will frame these, but look at him. Don't wake him up. Don't wake Lewis Haney up. Or Hanvey up. Because he's dreaming. Words by Beth Slater Whitson and music by Herbert Ingram. This is 1910, front and back. Ooh, Jim Dance Folio for 1912. Yeah, these are perfect for framing. So this was in black and white with the roses. I honestly think having a gallery wall of these antique sheet music would be really cool. So there's that one. And then this one is from 1911. And this is all alone. Look at her on the phone. Harry Von Tiltzer's great telephone song. Oh, let's see what the words are, shall we? This one's from 1911. There's a ship sails away at the close of each day, sails away to the land of my dreams. Mama's little boy, Blue, and the captain and the crew of this wonderful, wonderful, Wonderful. Oh, we go. Good gracious me. Well, now at least I've got you, dear. This is your music. I've been trying hard all day to get you on the phone to say, I'm all alone. All alone. Nobody here but me. Parlor's nice and cozy. Everything's so rosy. We'll have lots to lots of hurry up and get here, honey. I don't know. Oh, or I want a girl. Just like the girl who married dear old dad. I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad. She was a pearl and the only girl daddy ever had. Okay, well, this is from 1911. Then, oh, they, they just get better. Okay, we're at $22. They just get better. So this is the next one. This one's from 1912, which is the same year that the Titanic sank. All night long, all night. Originally sung by Lionel Richie. I'm kidding. That is, that is a Lionel Richie classic. This is all night long, an overnight hit in every sense of the word. Grace Williams with a girl with million friends. The girl with a million friends. 
That's all. Um, this one's from 1912. Author of Some of These Days, The Causey Rag, and That Humming Tune. So this one's all night long. My sweetheart went away last night. I don't know what to do. Every time he goes away, I always feel so blue. All night long. Look at her dress, too. Look at that hat. Oh, I'd love to live in love land with a girl like you. Hmm. So there's that one. Okay. This one's my favorite one. And you will get all four of these. Where are we at? We're at $26. You'll get all four of these. This one's from 1927. Wait till you see this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. That melody of love. Look at that. <gasps> Don't you want someone to embrace you and just look at you that way? Oh my gosh. That's just so, oh my gosh, I love this one. This was theme song. It's the theme, theme song of Metro Goldwyn Ware production of Love featuring John Gilbert and our girl, Greta Garbo. That's Greta Garbo. Mm, mm, mm. So let's see what, this one's from 1927. And this one is, June was so warm and tender. June made a heart surrender. June made a sadness wander way. June brought a melody that filled us with ecstasy and left but a memory to stay. Ah, oh, that melody of love. My, oh, my blue heaven. Oh, I love this stuff. I never thought that I would like the sheet music as much as I have been really digging it lately. But I, listen, I, I'm going to be doing a haul where I found more. I found some Fred Astaire. I found some Bean Crosby. I found with one with Rudolph Valentino on it. I'm like, I'm geeking out over this stuff. So right now I'm seeing The Baker's Daughter at $35. Okay. We have All Night Long. This one is from 1927. All Night Long is from 1912. Uh, All Alone is from 1911. And Don't Wake Me Up, I Am Dreaming is from 1910. So you will get all four pieces of antique and almost antique sheet music. All right, I see the baker's daughter is at $40. You'll get all four pieces. If you are in the running and you have decided that you are done, if you would please type out. Oh, look at her. Look at that dress. I know. See, if you have these hung up on a gallery wall, I just, I love that idea. Okay, Patty's at 41. That melody of love. Greta Garbo. Who are you? The guy, it looks like he has an earring in. I don't think that he does. Who wrote the first one? The first one was written by, the words were by Beth Slater Whitson. And the music was by Herbert Ingram. Beth Slater Winston wrote, Meet Me Tonight in Dreamland. Okay, Patty is out. The Baker's Daughter is at $45 for the, the lot of four pieces of sheet music. $41. Going once. Oof. Going once. Going twice. Sold to the Baker's Daughter for $41. Oh, they're so good. I will ship them very, I, you know, I won't ship them where they can be bent. I'll ship them very carefully. But thank you so much. I love these. And I will have a lot more because I've been buying it every time I see it. Because I just, I have, I have fallen in love with the sheet music. All right. I want to be alone. Okay, next I have an offer up. Now, I asked Alex about this because if she's watching or if Babe is watching, what is that? What is this cookie jar called? 
with the cookies and what is this called? You know what I'm talking about? Beth Slater Winston is your cousin? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is stinking amazing. Wow, small world. What is this called? What is this pattern called? But this isn't it because all the other ones that I have seen do not have the alphabet. It just, I know it's a jar, D. Biscuit jar. <laughs> but it has a pattern's name. Um, cookies all over. That's it. Cookies all over. Oh, well, hi, Bar. Are you taking a break? With Jeffrey, are you back? Cookies all over. Now, this does have the the alphabet on it, which I, I didn't see. And it has a nut on the top, I think. That doesn't look like a walnut to you. Okay, so we're going to do this as an offer up. I'm going to start it at $15. I will point out that the lid on the inside, well, on the, on the outside too, it does have a hairline crack right there. We're starting this at $15. Okay. And then on the inside, it has this I, I, the discoloration, which I like. You know, I dropped my phone. I was talking to Sam, and I fell, and I dropped my phone, and I have a little scratch on my phone, so I keep uh, thinking that there's a hair on my phone, but it's a, it's a little crack. See there inside? So the, the cookie jar itself is in really nice condition, but just it has the hairline crack on the lid. It is not marked on the bottom at all. Okay, so I have $20. I see Heidi at $20. So this one is, it's, it's old. It is not new. It is, an, it is old. You can tell by the crazing and the coloring on, on the inside. So it does very much resemble the cookies all over pattern. But I've not seen it with the alphabet on it. They're supposed to be like little alphabet ABC cookies. All right, so I'm seeing $20. All right, I'm gonna start counting it down. $20 going once. How cute is this for spring? $20 going twice. Who was that too that had the $20? Heidi Wallace. Yeah, I've never seen it with the alphabet on it. $20 sold to, gosh darn it, Heidi, right? Where'd you go, Heidi? Heidi Wallace. Sold to Heidi Wallace for $20. All right. I'll put that back up there. Next. I have a little horse mug from Louisville. Oh, no, not Louisville. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Texas. I'm sorry, Louisville. It's from Texas. It says, good luck from Texas. And it does have a horse on it. It's hand painted by Plat Platco. Platco, made in Japan. But this is also really nice to put a little succulent in it as well. So you can have it, and I like the horseshoe, and then the horse on the other side. This is $14, and it is number 25. Your pick for the day shows a green straw glass. Is it a lamp? Yeah, the fairy lamp we have sold. The green fairy lamp. All right, I see Randy girl. Randy girl, gotcha. Oh, Barb found a book with a deer. 
I haven't sold the white dog yet. Okay, I'm going to do another offer up. And this is a good one. It's an offer up of doilies. Misty, can you send it to Christy for me? Yes. So, Emma, will you write that down in the notes? Send to Christy on number... Randy bought it, but send it to Christy, number 14. All right. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to start this lot at $15, this lot of doilies. There's some good ones in here. Oh, I'm already seeing 25 So we've got this one. We've got a white one. You're welcome, Randy girl. This one's pretty. Lots of pinks. Lots of pinks. So there's three. This one's purple. Four. Purple and yellow. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Where are we at? We're at $25. Now we're at $26. Nine. Ooh, this one's tatting. Nine. My favorite one's coming up. And there we have number 10. And 11. 12. 12. Little pot holder. Okay, we're at $27 for the whole lot. There's, so there's 14 doilies all together. This one's my favorite one. This pot holder is my favorite one because it's got a face on it. Hello. And look, it's got hair. $28. It's got hair. And blue eyes. I love the, this one's my favorite. So you get all of these doilies. I see 30. Three dollars. Irene is out. Lea is at thirty-three dollars. These are nice for Valentine's Day decor. The white ones, you know, for every day. Okay, I see Susan at thirty-five. You thought it was a whoopee cushion. It does kind of look like a whoopee cushion from this side, doesn't it? <laughs> Shirley is out. I think we're at thirty-five dollars. Susan Frank is at thirty-five dollars. I love this one with the leaves. And then this one with the flowers, pink flowers. All right, LEA is at 36, so we are between um, Susan and Ellie. So Ellie's at 36, Susan's at 38. I know, I love these flower ones. But, but as good as the flower ones are, they're not as good as this one. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. Susan's at 38. And I like this pot holder too. And it does have the string. Ellie's at 39. I've seen someone you could put these like on a tension rod and hang above your uh, kitchen window. If you have a kitchen window, just a bunch of different um, pot holders. That would be cute in the center. Be looking down on you as you wash your dishes. Okay, I see Susan Frank at $40. For the lot of, what did I say, 14 doilies. LEA is at 42. Yeah, they do make great balances. And this one is like an off-white. It's just so dainty. Look at that design. Okay, Susan is at 44. I will be doing a lot more of these doily lots as well. I have a lot of them. And I'm going to try to mix in some whites with some colors. But I thought since it was... We're close to Valentine's Day. We could do some pinks. I like this one square. Susan's at 45. There's two just like this of the rectangle. Ellie is at 46. Susan's at 
Susan's at 47. <laughs> Emma's getting irritated with the dollar increments. So we get above 50 and we're doing we're going up to five dollar increments. Emma's getting a little feisty. So you get 14 in here. I love the face one too. Susan, you are a girl after my own heart. This one's just good. Look at the hair. All right, so we are at Susan at $47 for the lot of doilies. So going once, going twice. Sold to, where are we at? Who do I see? I already forgot. Sold to Susan Frank for $47. I should have sold that one separate. You know, I probably should have just kept that one and do that I didn't. I love the face one. All right, I'm going to take a drink. I'm going to Mountain Dew this time. I will have some more doily lots. Have no fear. I will be having some each week because I have a lot. All right, next I have another offer up. This is a landscape print. Now this is on canvas. I haven't taken it out of the frame. I can't tell if it's hand painted, but it is on canvas. You see that? See that you can see the texture of it. So it's not a lithograph. And it's of this beautiful landscape. Isn't that pretty? Now, I liked the frame as well. It's in this old frame. You can see in the back here. It does have the hanger. So I'm going to start this at $18. It does have glass. Well, so we're going to start this landscape. It does not, it is not signed. It is not signed. We're starting it at $18. I see Carla at 20. Yeah, I think so too, Gary. It's really nice. It's just, you, look at the clouds in the sky. Doesn't it look like an actual picture? Now, I prefer my things with people in them. Some people don't. But maybe it might be in the spring because it doesn't look like all of the leaves are on these trees here. We've got the evergreen trees here. But look at the clouds. I just think it's beautiful. And the spring flowers with a little brook. This would be nice on a gallery wall. All right, I see... I thought I saw... Yeah, I see Carla at 30. Yeah, I agree, Rebecca. It's a nice size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right. I see Patty at 32. You can see the texture. It's on canvas. Carla is at 33. I like the texture in the frame. The frame's in really nice condition as well. The frame is textured. Yeah, the frame is textured. Patty is at 45. Okay, Michelle is out. Oh, I said thir I said 35. Okay, Carla is at 40. You can see the little spring. I love the clouds. Don't you just want to sit there? Don't you just want to go there and sit by yourself without anybody bugging you? Just sit and listen to that water. All right, I see. Okay, Patty's in at 45. So we're between Patty and Carla right now. And once we get to, if we, if we do get to 50, we're going to go up to $5 increments. Yeah, put your feet in. Can't you, are you ready for spring? When you walk outside and you can hear the birds singing and okay, Carla's in at 50. So now we're at the point where we are. The next offer up will be 55. 
Okay, so Patty is out. So I see Carla at 50 going once, going twice, sold to Carla Salomone or Salomone for $50. It's pretty. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right. Oh my gosh. I know you guys are going to like. I hope that you guys will like this next thing. I think that it is stinking cute. Let me see here. Because we like our dogs and we like little things, right? So this will be cute. Also, it will be cute framed. Look at this little pillowcase with the snooty little dog on it. Are you, is this a little terrier? Look at it, it's just, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And look at the pink. Long E, Salamone. Oh yes. Oh, I will leave, the frame will be, the frame must go with it, Carla, absolutely. Look, look, look. Oh, I love him. Okay, so this little pillowcase, it's a little baby pillowcase. A Westie or a Scotty. So you can put your pillow or your stuffings in there. It would be cute as a little accent pillow too, but isn't that cute? This is $16 and it's number 27. Oh, I love it. Oh, it could be a toaster cover. Yeah, that's a good idea, Jamie. That could be a toaster cover. I see Randy girl. Randy could somewhat somewhat be a little Yorkie. If you, if you squinted your eyes, maybe. <laughs> I love, I, I like anything with an animal on it too. Love it. Yeah, I think it would be cute as a toaster cover. All right, I have a table square. This one's nice. It's, I, this one's like heavily embroidered or needlepoint. I, I need someone needs to tell me the difference. But it's a table square and it's got the purple and red flowers on each corner. There are a small, a few small little holes in it. There's one there and there. And then there was one on this side right there. But isn't that pretty? Are these, um, oh, what's that flower I'm thinking of? <sighs> I don't know. What do you think? What flower do you think this is? I'm, I can't think of what it is. A, um, not a begonia. Ugh. Dahlia? No. Chrys chrysanthemum. Or peony. It could be a peony, I guess. So I love the lines on this. It has along the side red, a red trim. This is $16 and it is number 24. $16, number 24. <laughs> it would be a big hanky. All right, I see Bobby Earp. I love those lines on there, too. I love a good linen, piece of linen. I do, I do, I do. Okay, next. <laughs> I entitled this A Fancy Girl Planter. And here she is. She's a fancy girl planter. She's just peeking over that big. She's like a, a little, a little bitty, like the littles. Look at this. She's hiding behind this flower. And I don't know what she has in her hand, but she's got something gold here. And it's in her hand. She's peeking. I don't quite know what she's doing, but the petals are all intact. It is not marked. But look at her. She looks like she's got grapes in her little apron. The borrowers. Yes. So she, there's some grapes down here. But the petals are all in very good condition. She And she's a planter. She's $15 and she's number 20. 
Fifteen dollars, number twenty. It would look better with flowers in it. Fifteen dollars, number twenty. All right, I see rag doll sales eBay seller, which is. I know your name. But it's, I don't want to say the wrong name. But I know who you are. My memory is not the greatest. Hi, Yvonne! Okay. This is really cool. I'm so excited. And I'm nervous about this one. But I just think, I think that this is just remarkable to me that this is even still in existence in the condition that it's in. All right, I have it in a little bag. This is gonna be an offer up because I couldn't find it anywhere. I just couldn't. This is a little miniature cal calendar. I do have another, ca another antique calendar as well. This one is missing January. Okay, it's missing January. So all of the other months are there but January. It is from Compliments of White Sewing Machine Company, the best in the world, so simple a child can use it. It is a miniature calendar from 1883. I mean, and it's in great condition, other than January is missing. So the calendar itself starts at February. Oops, you can see. We turn the pages. Isn't this cool? So I'm going to start this at $15. I, I, th isn't this cool? $18.83. Look at her. She is not very impressed like I am. She thinks that I'm just being silly. Look at the, flower, the sunflowers in her hair. I love this so much. All right. I see $20. I see $20.30. Oh, 1883. Now, it she there's like a little mark right there. And the corners has one, you can see on the back, has one spot where it's just a little bendy. But other than that, it's in really good condition. So simple, a child can use it. <laughs> Maybe a, a president abolished January. Oh my gosh. And it says W.J. Morgan, Cleveland, Ohio is where it was printed. Isn't this so neat? And the gold around her head is sort of like, it almost looks like it would be like one of those rub off things. That's just like the, the coloration that I'm getting from it. All right. I'm seeing Shirley is at, I think at 35 is what I see. Oh, I love this. The best in the world. White Sewing Machine Company. It is a rescued treasure. The other calendar is also that I'm going to be selling is also an antique. I and like I said, I have found some antique fashion magazines from like the 1860s. Okay, so I'm seeing Shirley Pearl at $35. So Shirley at $35, going once, going twice, sold to Shirley Pearl for $35. I just, I, I absolutely love this. Oh, I've had this for a while and when I was going through some ephemera, I saw it. I think I was talking to Alex when I found it and we both about died when I found it. And I also was talking with Alex when I was looking through these magazines, those old fashioned magazines and they've got corsets. <gasps> Hi Kelly. All right, next. We've got a little Cocker Spaniel planter. I think that's a Cocker Spaniel. It looks like it to me. Now, there, now this isn't a, well, maybe it is a little bit of a crack. It does have a crack. I thought it was just veining. But it does have a little crack right there. Now, it, it's not a repair. It's just a, like a, an age crack, I guess. 
right there in his front paw. So he is $16, and he's number 16. Isn't he cute? Six, $16, number 16. For the little baby. $16, number 16. And he's like a cream color on him. All right, I see Val M. Oh, it could be a King Charles Spaniel. It could be. It could be whatever you decide it could be. All right, now we're going to do the big calendar. This is the next antique calendar. It's also an offer up. I'm going to go ahead and start this at, I'm going to start this one at $20. It is intact. The January is still there. We're starting it at night. Uh, we're starting it at twenty dollars. It's January nineteen sixteen. It is from Gilliam Lumber Company in Bern, Indiana. Phone number thirty six. I still wouldn't that be great to be able to remember. What's your phone? What's your phone number? Thirty six. Oh, okay. Thirty six. All right. Lou is at twenty two dollars. There is, around the corners, there is a little bit of wear. It's over 100 years old, though. Look at that. Now, this is from Distributors of Pittsburgh Perfect Fencing, made of genuine double galvanized open hearth wire, strength, durability, economy, and it has an elephant in a fence. And then the, photo, the lithograph is Evening Prayer, and... Somewhere in here. Sometimes the artist is in there. But they're saying their prayer. My favorite part is the doll just laying over here on the ground. Kind of Sugar britches. Sugar britches is just laying there on the ground. And we've got Mamma and her two grand. Look at the flowers in the windows. And that litho. Okay, Nicole is at $35. Free the elephant. The elephant's in the fence. All right, so we are at $35 to Nikki. $35 going once. $35 going twice. And sold to Nikki for $35. No, you can't see the illustrator. Sometimes you can, and sometimes it's in a spot that you you you. You'd never know, but I am not seeing it anywhere. Sugar britches, get them off the floor. They're just laying down there on the floor. You've got work to do. <laughs> All right. Now we are at Betty. Do y'all know Betty in Canada? Betty in Canada, there she is, with her goat. This is Little People Everywhere. So this is a school book, a, a geography school book from, well, Little People Everywhere. You've got Manuel in Mexico, Ume San in Japan, Raphael in Italy, Kathleen in Ireland, Fritz in Germany, Gerda in Sweden, Boris in Russia, Betty in Canada, Donald in Scotland, Marta in Holland, Hassan in Egypt, and Josefa in Spain. There's little people. It's a small world after all. So, oh, the copyright date in here. Now, the litho picture in the very front of this book is just like it on the cover. Copyright Underwood and Underwood, New York. It's Betty and Betsy. There they are. They're in Canada. Copyright date on this is 1912. It is the school edition. Boston, Little Brown and Company, 1912. It's a geographical reader. The our first copyright was 1910. So this is the second edition. And there are lots of lithograph black and white lithograph pictures in here. Here is Quebec. Um, so this Betty in Canada 
is $20, and she is number 43. Betty in Canada, $20, and it's red. I just took home a bunch of red books to use in my Valentine's decor at home. So Betty in Canada is number 43. All right, Bobby Earp got you for Betty. Ooh, I do, if you like old school books like that, stay tuned every week, because I have a lot, of, a lot of them. And I found one yesterday when I was going through the books that blew my mind. So, did I say a lamb? Sheep. Is a sheep a grown-up lamb? Is that what they are? Who likes cats? I do. How about a cat pushing a wagon? You know, if you have a cat, you might as well put him to work and let him push your plants in your wagons to the watering hole. This is made in Japan. A little cat and his wagon. He's a little gray cat, but he is using garden gloves. He's a smart cat. And he's using garden gloves to push this wagon. I love his eyelashes. He is $16 for this smart little worker cat. And he's number 23. He's a smart fella wearing his little cap, pushing his wagon. Pushing his kitty litter. He's emptying out his own litter box. That will be the day. $23, or 23. I see Christine Benson for number 23. You're a good cat. You can come and live at my house and teach Mr. Fluffer Pants how to empty his own litter box. That would be wonderful. Wouldn't that, Tiger? Wouldn't that be great? I tell you, I looked into those robotic litter boxes. They're like $500. I'm like, I am not. No, I will scoop the poop and not spend $500. All right. Next I have, oh my gosh. The 1972 17 magazine. Look. Look at them. It says California. California. Fads. Fun, fashions, food, and freaks. All in California knows how to party. Mine. Ooh, ugh. I don't like them because they look clownish. But mine, anyone, anywhere can do it. But why would you want to is my question. So this is an excellent condition. Oh, wait, is this the California article? Look at these freaks. Look at the girls of California. The girls of California. They're sugar britches. See her? Sugar britches is a California girl, too. So is Jane. Oh, Mendocino? Mendocino. That's California, right? Why is there a dog? There's a dog in the middle of that road. 1972 17 magazine. Oh, there's the, wow, look at her yellow shoes. What? They're being mines. I love LA. It's perfect, except for the smog in the cars. You can find anything there. It also has a, wait, it also has a loser, more pleasure-oriented oriented culture, but it's not the answer to everything. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't understand that at all. Look, and you have the energy and you can run and run in a field when you live in California. Oh my gosh, look at these shoes and look at those pants. It's a wrap around pant skirt. Look at the shoes. Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh my, The Unmatchables by Connie. I'm sorry, I know I'm having too much fun. Look, dangskins are not just for dancing. So you can have this, this is great. 17 Magazine, Wrangler. This is, this is awesome. The California Girls. 
They know how to party. This 1972 Seventeen magazine is $16 and it's number 42. 1972. Three years before I was born. $16, number 42, for the 17 year. Lusta Fitzpatrick, I think. Yes, Lesta. I think that it's fun. And I will have lots of magazines as such, but man, look at that. Anyway, not the, that's the 70s for you. All right. Hey, Peterson. All right. This is the book. The book. Judy Joe, are you still here? This is the last one. I have sold one of these on Monday, one of them on Tuesday, and I'm. this is the last one I have that I'm selling today. It is the More Wilson Readers the Rainbow Fairies. The Rainbow Fairies. This is uh, from 1927. And every single page, well, other than that page, some of the pages, but most all pages have the illustrations of the fairies. And so I'm going to start this at $30. We're going to start this at $30. So $30 for the Rainbow Fairies. This is the Rainbow, the Rainbow Fairies right here. We're starting this at $30. Okay, Uncle Andy is at $33. I had seen one of these listed for sale on eBay for $75 for sale. Here we've got the blue fairy. Oh, he's sad. But look at that doll. Good grief. The Viking doll fairy. What? This, he must be the outcast of fairyland. He's in every picture. Sitting by himself. Uncle Andy is still, we're still at $33.00. Has a space here too where the children can write in it. I love the graphics in this. Violet Fairy. Thrift You is at 34. Someone sent your kittens toys. Thrift You's at 36. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Goodbye, dear children. Goodbye to you. The end. I want to know why that little boy is sitting all by himself all the time. Oh, goodbye, dear children. Goodbye, pretty fairies. Come each day if you can. It's fun to work with you. Goodbye. 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 We're off to fairyland now. Okay, I see my husband's nightmare at 40. I'm a violet fairy, and my real name is you, like you. Sometimes I say my nickname, you, as in fun. Fun, I do. All right, Cindy J is at 42. Look, there he is again. He's just, nobody wants to sit with him. What's wrong? What, why? Why does anyone want to sit with you, little boy? See, he's playing with them in this picture. The yellow and green fairies. All right. Oh, Michael Todd? Michael! Michael's in at 45. Let's see. Oh, well. The orange fairy, that's why no one likes this little boy, because he's some, he colored in this picture. That's why he's all by himself. He <laughs> can definitely relate to that little boy. So there's two pages that some, that naughty little boy colored him with green crown. 
Oh my gosh, look at the fairies. All right, where are we at here? Okay, so Michael's at 50. Thrift you is out. So I'm going to start call, calling it. So $50 going once. $50 going twice. Sold to Michael Todd for $50. That's amazing. I sold every single one of them for the exact same price. I love these. I do have some other good ones. Thank you, Michael. I love, Michelle, I love the smell of all books. Mm, I love it. Love the smell of books. Thank you, Michael. Ooh. Oh, you just missed out, Thrift You. Well, you know, I counted down. <laughs> okay, we're getting to the end, guys. <laughs> Oh, you said out, and then mom. Of course she did. Of course she did. I got some goldfish shakers here. Not like the goldfish crackers, but they're little salt and pepper shakers of goldfish. They uh, one of them has their corks, and one of them doesn't. This one has a hairline crack right there. They're great for display. They are ten dollars, and they're number thirty-one. Aren't they cute? Just a pop of color. I think they'd be cute on a bathroom shelf if you had like a, you know, like a vintage bathroom with the mermaids and stuff in it. All right, Ronnie D. Got you, Ronnie D. I'm just looking outside. The sun is out today in Indiana. It's a banner day when the sun is out and it's not gray. I like sun sunshiny days all right this i love this could be framed it's another linen piece it's a laundry bag it's stitched and it's got a drawstring right here so i mean you could actually use it for a laundry bag i think this would be really cute in, in a frame hung in a laundry room if you are lucky enough to have a laundry room i am not but look, it says laundry, and this lady has this laundry on her head. Isn't this great? And it's on like a canvas. I agree, Judy Joe. So this laundry bag is $18, and it's number 37. Val, you have missed a lot. We're wrapping it up. I still have some things, but... We're, we're wrapping it up. Or not Val, Vixie. Vixie Stixy. That's a fun thing to say. Annie Aldo Aldoco? Aldaco. Ooh, that's fun to say too. I tell you, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a haul and the stuff over here I'm looking at. It's going to be a big haul. So if you like, if you like a long haul video, the, my, I don't know when it's going to be out. I need to film it. I'm hoping it'll be out on Friday. It's a long, it's going to be a long one. Bye, Nady Patati. But I have some linen pieces that are, will blow your mind. Because they blew my mind. I can't, I, I, I'm looking at them right now. All right, I have a restaurant wear cup and saucer. I think it's so pretty. I put my little helper in here because... You know, this is what you can do. If you see a cup and saucer and you're like, it's just one. What am I going to do with just one? Well, you can do this. And then you can set it on a coffee table or an end table. And it looks nice, right? Now, I'm going to take this out just so I can show you. This is Syracuse, China. It's restaurant wear. Look at, it has lime green and black. It's very art deco. And, oh, mug is stuck to my finger this little squatty mug here is also Syracuse China and it also has the green and black stripe on it isn't that nice I love the colors on that and I mean you could just use this just like this in a display and Dollar Tree very soon if not already will have these faux succulents out so be on the lookout for those because they're they are nice 
then you don't have to worry about dirt. You know, you just stick them in there. Sort of like an air plant. But this set, you'll get the cup and, ooh, St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I didn't even think about that. You get the cup and the saucer for $16, and they're number 26. I do have a couple more of these plates, but I don't have the, the cups. So I, it's green. This is green. It's a lime green. All right, I see precious lavender buttons, $26. Now my greenery does not come with it. If I can get out the Dollar Tree and I get a, if I can buy a bunch of it, I might include them in some things in the future. But just in case I can't find them. Okay, we already did the Fenton Fairy Lamp. That already sold once we got our 50. All right, we have three more things and then the giveaway. Three more things. Okay, I love this. Now, it, it does stack. This was in a recent haul video. It does stack fairly nicely, but a subscriber friend sent me a message and said that the sugar bowl is supposed to have a lid. It does not have the lid. But look at how pretty that is with the double swans. It's hand painted. The sugar bowl. And then there is the cream. I love that the handles are the swans. There are no chips on them anywhere. They're made in Japan. They, it does stack though. I mean, it does stack. But originally this was supposed to have a lid on it. But I think that they're very, very cute. Thank you. These are, these stickers are Color Street, and then this is just nail polish. They need to be redone. So the set is $18, and they're number 17. So you get both of them for $18, and they're number 17. And you could probably also, you know, kind of do the same thing with an air plant or a succulent. All right, I see Cindy J. Aren't they pretty? I just really liked them. And I don't normally pick up little sweet, dainty things like that, but I was drawn to them. Cindy J. Next. Ooh, we have a record lot. Now, this isn't going to be... Now, this isn't an offer up. This is just a straight price. This isn't going to be as... Fun as the the last record lot that I that I sold. These are children's records. Um, this is 1961. Hi Diddle D from Pinocchio. I love the graphics on here. Hi Diddle D. It has their Disney. Remember that? Oh, that just brings back childhood right there. The record's in excellent condition. How bad little boys? Oh wait. How bad little boys on Pleasure Island were turned into donkeys. And Hi Diddle Dee from Pinocchio. There's that one. You'll get, and you'll get all of these in that, in this lot. And then we have Three Little Kittens. This is a Peter Pan record. Doesn't say the date on it. I would say the 70s or 80s. Peter Pan, it's educational. So it has the three little kittens and kitty cat too. And on the other side, Mr. Cool Cat and Pussycat Opera Star. Hmm. My favorite cat on here is this one. He is just, this one's so scared. of These two are like, frightened of getting in trouble and by kelly and this guy is just he's just given up he, he knows that he is just in for it so there's that one and then i love this one this was around the world in song the little dutch girl and the little dutch boy it's also another 45 from peter pan records so there's this side which i love Look at the airplane the other side, now this is the little Dutch girl and little Dutch boy. And then this other side is my favorite. Let me put the record back in. This one's 1960. Look at Sugar Britches dancing a jig. Sugar Britches is just dancing a little jig there. She's in Scotland. 
the Highland Lads. My body lies over the ocean. This one has a little bit of a corner loss in the paperwork there, but and that's graphics fun. Look at her lashes, sugar lashes. And then this one is a listen, look picture book. It is the recorded story of Myrtle the Turtle. The nice thing about this one is that it is, well, I'll show you that part in a minute. It has the record, so here's the cover. It has the record, and it's also the book of Myrtle the Turtle. Look, oh, that's horrible. What in the world? It even it, It's like my two worst nightmares, the clown and a stinking foot. Ding! Turn the page. Uh, look, uh, look at that. That is, and there's a woman with a beard. That's much better. She's saucy. Look at that cleavage on her. Mm. Man. There's the ferocious. Maybe you should eat that clown. Don't let him get away. Eat him. Murder the turtle got a big idea. Brave turtle sa saves the lives of 200 circus people. Oh, there's a lady with the beard. <laughs> oh, he's the man with the backward legs, apparently. That's his job in the sideshow. Oh, Myrtle the turtle saved the day. Oh, golly. That's just frightening. I want to see some more of these pictures in there. Okay. All right. I think we've seen enough. So you get the you get the um the book and the record is red. It's a red record. And I like that it has Snow White on that side, which it says Snow White in the cottage. And but you know what? This does not have Myrtle the Turtle. So this record does not go with this. So I'm just saying that right now. So you can just read the book. But this is Snow White. So you have Snow White and look at the dwarfs. Whistle while you work. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Golden record. So you get all four of these records in one lot for $16 and they're number 44. <laughs> $16 number 44. Joanne likes her clowns and that's okay. We all like different things. But, like, some people are scared to death of dolls. And dolls don't bother me. Clowns, I don't like. Because of Peanut. Peanut the Clown ruined everything for me. Did we already have a... Okay, so I see... Kara... Oh, gosh, Kara, I'm going to do it again. Let me see. Cry... Cry... Zynowski. Cry Zynowski. I think I did it. I think I was close. I sounded it out. I used my rules. <laughs> I will be having more record lots. I do have some... Oh, I've got a lot of records over there. I've got a Bing Crosby one that I'm like, do I sell it? I don't know. And um, Bing Crosby cowboy songs. Chrisinowski. Chrisinowski. There, that's better. Krasinowski. Well, those clowns, Nancy, sound like nice clowns, but Peanut the Clown ruined clowns for me. All right. Last item. Last item, I think. Yes. That is a little boxer. You know what this is? It's just, it, this just came into my brain. This looks like Bella. Michelle's Bella. I know Michelle or Bella is not a boxer, but it just reminded me of Bella. He does have a little bit of paint loss right there. His cold paint's coming off a little bit. He is made in Japan. He is $12 and he's number 11. No, it wasn't good enough to on the clown. $12, number 11. For the boxer pup. Bobby Earp. He's so cute. Bobby Earp. Now I got to put all of these back in here and I got to do the giveaway. 
in the giveaway is this really pretty brooch. We'll be giving away to a lucky winner. Look, I got Sugar Britches painted me this rock. And I got my, my little goodies that people have sent me. And this was sent to me too by Karen. I think. Was it Karen that sent me that? Oh, great. I'm probably going to say it was sent to me by the wrong person. I'm going to get myself in trouble. But I love it. And she, her eyes open and close. See? Isn't that great? It's art. That's a work of art. All right, here we go. The winner of the brooch is the person that won number number 16. So whoever won the Cocker Spaniel Planter. Who won the Cocker Spaniel Planter, Emma? Who won number 16, Emma? Because that person won the brooch. Val M! Val M! You won the brooch. Emma, make sure that you write that down on the paper for me so I don't forget. Val M won the brooch. Yay, congratulations. Congratulations, Val. All right, thank you guys so much. I will be, like I said, I will be uh, working on invoices probably mainly Saturday and Sunday. Um, I am, I have to go pick up some auction winnings tomorrow and dad and I, I think might run into a flea market. We're gonna, I'm gonna spend the day with dad tomorrow. I'm gonna spend the day with my husband going sourcing on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I am working. I'll probably get most of the invoicing done on Saturday. So just make sure that you'll be to be expecting an email from me within, well, expecting a PayPal invoice throughout the weekend. Make sure that you send me a, an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email address. Um, and if you've sent me an email um, asking about certain things in my haul and you've bought something I will include I may mean, all gather them all up and include them together so I'm still working on those as well uh, and I think that's about it I think that's about it thank you guys so much I always look it's always so much fun to be able to spend the day with you um, I've got to film a haul video I'm pretty sure that tomorrow will be a shop with me video but let me tell you, I'm not, I haven't started editing it yet. I filmed it on last Thursday with my new camera. So be kind and don't leave me too many hateful comments about my camera skills because it was a new thing for me and I'm just getting used to using the camera when I'm outsourcing. So I'm hoping that it will be good. Um, but the haul will probably be on Friday and it is, I got a lot of stuff. It's going to be a long haul. So I'm just going to say, it's going to be a long haul. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. And uh, don't forget to do your like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.